One of the ways to recycle is by putting old paper in the fire instead of throwing it out. And that's what my grandma does. And how she did this, she put it in a box and it was like she soaked it wet, put it in a box, she pushed it down into this and then she left it out in the sun to dry. And then after it dried, it looks like this. And she says it's really good to burn. The, like the fire can burn it really good. And it helps the fire. Usually we store all bottles in here for short trips when we need a drink. So we don't waste these bottles. Instead of putting them in the bin, we store them in here for short trips. These are concentrated cordial and we keep these old bottles instead of putting them in the bin and use it to make cordial that goes in the fridge that we drink. When we come out of our house, we find rubbish like this in our stormwater drains. So we pick it up before it goes down the drain and we put it in our bin. But if we leave it here, the stormwater can carry it down the drain and to ripple side and that can affect the animals there. Well, don't never litter, don't put cans in the streets or anything because when the storm comes that washes rubbish down the drain and as you can see over there that's where most of the rubbish comes out and it's bad for all the sea animals because it can affect them and it can also hurt them and in other ways it can also maybe kill them and I'm just trying to say don't litter because you can just those poor sea animals. The Geelong Council has put these sort of bins in all Geelong's home and they can also be in public places and in this park as it is now. And this the yellow bin is for bottles, cans and drink cartons only. So if you put stuff like chocolate wrappers or trees and stuff in, chop down trees in here, they might go to a different place where they're really not meant to go and that can cause trouble maybe. This red bin is for garbage such as chocolate wrappers and other stuff. this would you like to live in it because I wouldn't all this muck and goo but it's actually sad because all the fish have to live in it and but unfortunately they think that it's food and if they eat it they can become really really sick and they unfortunately die these two swans are swimming close to the stormwater outlet where the rubbish comes out. It can very easily make them sick. It can strangle them. It can even kill them. All 
this rubbish that you see here could easily be recycled but instead end up here.